Hello and good morning everyone. This is a BMW Smart Key and you know this can do a lot of things. It can uh, pre-cool your cabin, shows the range and a lot of other vehicle information. And the car I have today with me is the third generation BMW X6. You're watching Times of India. I am Anirban and today I'm going to tell you six absolutely fantastic things about the X6 and a few things that we could not like about this car. So stay tuned with us till the end of the video. A salute to BMW for introducing X6 into its third generation. Yet more than a decade old X6 looks like a brainchild developed yesterday. It was modern and futuristic so much so that others laughed at the idea of a sedan top fixed on an SUV. Fast forward to the present day, Mercedes to Audi, every car maker has indulged in designing lustful coupes. A leader from all quarters, BMW has dispatched over half a million X6 over the years. The third generation promises to be even more exciting. X6 is a delight to eyes and stamps a monstrous presence on the road. It's big and brawny, sports that leaning C-pillar which meets the high-rise boot. With a sharper design and flurry of new features and equipment and most importantly it has grown in size. With an increase of 42mm, the distance of 2975mm between the axles is larger than ever before. Using X5 CLAR architecture is majorly the reason for steroidal growth. Longer, wider and lesser height means the X6 looks absolutely beastly on the road. It's a result of unconventional designing and fantastic engineering. The equipment list also meets the latest fleet of BMWs. The top of the line M Sport variant gets a sporty body kit. The dashing bit is BMW's first ever illuminated grille. This fancy element, however, isn't part of the standard package and calls for a premium of Rs 1 lakh. Thankfully, the grille size is not as disproportionately large to the eyes as the X5 or the X7. The laser lights and revised bumper are also new additions. The throw is great, but I somehow feel the X5 light have a better reach at night. The 20-inch 10-spoke alloy wheels, riverside blue paint, the fit and finish are all too great to crib anything about. It's hard to find faults in cars especially in this price spectrum. The interiors are completely redone and has a lot in common with the new X5. The 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment along with the BMW Live cockpit digital instrumentation and other equipment bits are similar to the X5. The front seats are crafted flawlessly and you get features like Harman Kardon sound system, wireless phone charging, a heads-up display, sunroof and customizable ambient lighting around you. Once behind the driving wheel, nothing in the world can lure you to move away. The 3-litre 6-cylinder twin-turbo petrol engine sends out 340 PS and 450 Nm of torque to an all-wheel drive system. The transmission duties are carried out by the 8-speed automatic gearbox. The responsiveness for the engine is engaging and the X6 impresses you with 0 to 100 kmph in 6 seconds. That's really quick for an SUV of that size and demeanor. The transmission is coupled perfectly with the engine and undergoes seamless shifts in both the directions. Switch to sport mode, use the paddle shifters and the X6 extends its imaginary wings and preparing for the flight within the blink of an eye. You would choose an X6 because you're a vagabond, not in a literal sense though. If you love to drive the car, speed it on the highways, challenge it on twists, the X6 is ready to pamper you with its features and performance. The lower spec M Sport dampers you with steel springs while the X-Line has air suspensions. 
the coupe SUV is smooth and whatever you throw at it barring the off-road scenes the M Sport steering adds a sporty feel to the overall performance and the feedback from the wheel is quite good As I said, you would put your money on the X6 because you want a state of the art BMW which looks and drives well. The back seat is comfortable and feels like a cocoon. It's spacious but not a warehouse like an X5 or X7. That's a deal you have to strike at roughly rupees 1 crore. Also, the 20 inch alloy wheels are a size too large to tackle over bad roads. The firm ride quality doesn't iron out the rough edge as smoothly as you would want it to. The 6 shares a lot with the 5, but an important miss is surely diesel. The need for diesel in this high-end range is still encouraging. The petrol head is agile, quick and responsive. However, BMW is keeping the diesel in the yard with the imported units. It would be interesting to see in future if a strategic move can induce BMW to offer a diesel engine alongside shifting the assembly operations to our shores. But currently, at rupees 95 lakh ex showroom, X6 seems to be a smart choice over the Mercedes GLE Coupe, Audi Q8 and Porsche Cayenne Coupe.